Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and redo this here. Story of my fucking life. Uh, I do something and then uh, I'm told, oh, hey, that's not acceptable. That's that's not going to be submitted. Uh, it wasn't registered. Blah, blah, blah. So why not with with all these fucking electronics and social media bullshit? I don't I don't really do social media. I, I just do fucking YouTube. But uh, with electronics in particular, uh, usually it, it's it's always a love hate relationship. And usually what happens is I start uh, unleashing my rawness to these electronics and they they flip the fuck out and I'm not saying I'm special what I am but I'm saying that you're all special everyone's special here all right if you're in a fucking human form you're special and if you don't believe that well that's that's on you but you are I just happen to be someone who, like many of us, have done uh, some deeper cleansing, some introspective work, uh, some contemplation, some gnosis, integration of gnosis. Basically, all it ever comes down to is feeling. How deep is your love? How deep is your love? The deeper can you feel. And the deeper you feel, the more you'll realize the things around you, depending upon your location. If you're on if you're in the electronic world, the tech the technocratic world, then then you'll quickly realize that uh, certain energies don't like your energy because your energy dissolves illusions. And we, they can't have that because uh, that's how the whole system runs, is upon illusions and keeping people mentally enslaved. So yeah, fuck you electronics. Fuck you and thank you for allowing me to uh, reach more people in this platform. But essentially, this is, this is also something I want to say here. Uh, using these electronics and realizing that we can uh, reach people of like mind and like heart. This, these electronics and this quote-unquote technologies, they are likened to prosthetics. To what we are really capable of. Some of you will know what I'm talking about here. Okay, so let's redo the whole fucking video that I just did. Which, I mean, is cool. Because, I mean, that's that's what it's all about. It's all about that, that spontaneous beingness. And then also, like, the stuff that I was talking about. I, I was basically doing a video response <laughs> even though I'm on Jay Chris's video right here this is what I was watching at the time before before I was done drinking my, my spirits consuming my spirits and, and ready to talk about what I was wanting to talk about it's this is basically a video response to Mayan Jin's Mayan Jin Abaddon his wonderful video about procrastination part one but before we get into that, like before, uh, I'm talking about what this dude was talking about with, I think he said it was in the UK, <laughs> that the term brainwashing was offensive. So uh, they had to, they had to uh, rename it, uh, or not, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, not brainwashing. I'm so, I was thinking of Zen Atman and his brainwashing and whatnot. Which we'll get into probably later on at some point. 
washing the brain, that's a good thing, obviously. Cleansing the brain, washing it. And that's, that's what it's all about, it's perception, right? What are you washing your brain with? Are you allowing things to wash over your brain with certain programs? Or are you washing your brain? Are you cleansing your brain? Are you squeegeeing your brain? And realizing how to really use your brain, how to use all of your senses, all of your faculties. So what this guy is talking about here was brainstorming and how I think he said in the UK that's become an offensive term now, obviously, because we're in the culture of being offended and being triggered here. So, that got changed to, uh, thought reigning, or, what was it, thought, oh, shit, thought showering, which is fucking ridiculous, but, uh, and then someone commented here that, uh, thought showering sounded dirty, but that's also kind of the, uh, the agenda here, the program, the people the few that are really running the show here, and like, it becomes obvious what the agenda is. And it's just to keep people dumbed down and confused. So once you're really able to transcend the linguistics and the lexicon here, you're able to get back to the original language, the source of it all, the feelings. You're able to tap back into that feeling of what it felt like whenever you were a child and feel things authentically hopefully you're able to re-engage that and then allow that in allow that to clear out the blockages so that you're able to always live that in every moment so yeah my my engines little video here on <laughs> little video here on procrastination that was very much appreciated just because of perspective it's all about perspective how you want to perceive things we can perceive it uh, on, on the pro side or on the uh, con side but really it's all the fucking same thing see it on the 360 side you know what I'm saying because it is always both. It is always pro and con and both. And that's where the true essence is. It's, it's in the middle of, of the pro and the con. It's the both. The and. And then in that middle, is it's, it's a circular. <laughs> yeah, we won't get into that. But yeah, so this is obviously going to be real quick here because my last one was uh, was probably about 30 minutes. And uh, this this phone decided that it was just too much. And so, like YouTube, it kept recording and kept me believing, <laughs> right? It kept me believing that uh, this was going to be saved. But then after I was done with it, oh, guess what? Nope. Oh, that's down the drain, motherfucker. Yeah, well, we'll see if you can still do that whenever we start communicating in the astral with each other. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see who and what goes down the drain then. And, and you know, that's that's not something that's a big fucking deal or whatever, because that's something that everyone does, regardless of if they're aware of it or not. And that's what it all comes down to. Are you aware of the happenings that are going on around you, inside of you, which is all the same fucking thing? As within, so without. This is what this means. You clean out your fucking inner garbage, you're able to see on the outside. Your outer perception of things also becomes clearer. As above, so below. As below, so above. You clean out your fucking guts. Your fucking upper, your, your upstairs, your mind, your mental faculties start to become more pronounced and cl clearer. You start to gain that clarity back. 
So yeah, real quick about the uh, procrastination. Okay, what, what I said before, my last one, th that that wasn't able to get handled and saved. Uh, like the Mayan Jin, and this is something that I mentioned in one of my previous ones where I was doodling. I mentioned that uh, in my high school, basically in all my schooling days, I waited to the last minute to do stuff. And in my high school days, the teachers would uh, decide to tell us, hey, you know, we can tell whenever you guys, you students, wait till the last minute to put something together and throw it all together. I mean, it it's obvious to us that you do this. So I'm sitting here in the back of the class and shit, just, you know, this is exactly what I did. And then I got a fucking A and praise. So I'm like, okay, you, you, he, teacher, teacher of the class, you're obviously, you know, just coming out and saying you don't know what is what. You're not able to see what I am doing. There's only one, one motherfucking teacher okay maybe two but that's just because i'm saying two because he in a roundabout way he he beat he uh beat around the bush about it so one teacher took me to the side and told me with my writings you know he was able to to understand the type of person I was, where I was coming from, that I was very, that even though I was silent and didn't fucking talk at all, because I, you know, in school and whatnot, and in this society that I've been brought up in, I don't want to talk to most people. Most people don't know what the fuck's going on. Like, I find that whenever I engage with people, it's kind of like we become one. We, we meld. And I'm more than willing to do that with certain people. But with the majority of people, whenever I do that, I am taking on a, a crazy toll. And that is too much to take on with the amount of these certain kinds of people in today's world. And some of you know what the fuck I'm talking about dead on. Other, other, other people, you know, of course, I'm going to trigger because we're in this culture here. Where uh, people are going to get offended. So obviously. You know. I'm too in my ego. And. Uh, I'm a narcissist. So. Uh, disclaimer here. Like. I'm sorry. I'm a fucking narcissist. So. You know. If you're triggered by that. You should probably just. You know. Not listen to any of my shit. And that's fine. But uh, yeah. All I'm trying to say here is I'm recollecting these 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 certain people here that recognize the truth, and it doesn't matter that they recognize that the truth is in me. They recognize the truth within themselves, and they saw it being reflected in me. That's what matters. So one of these guys was like, "Yeah, you know, I I understand that you don't talk to people, but." This was like in uh, a quote-unquote English class, which is just fucking ridiculous. All of the uh, so-called so education system, the indoctrination systems, are fucking redonkulous. But that doesn't mean that everyone's out to get you or whatever, or everyone's in on it. No, no, no. And this is a big, a big thing here, you know. Oh, well, if that's the case, then so many people would have to be in on it. You know, the conspiracy. Nope. That's not how this shit works, motherfucker. Let me tell you how this shit works. We have all been duped. And the motherfuckers teaching us this duped bullshit. Those are the ones, big time, that have been duped. They have fallen for the bullshit. That's all this shit is. There, of course, there are some people that know what's up. They know the game. 
They're they're going along with it. But by far the vast majority they have been duped. And so they're teaching what they have been taught to believe, what they have fell for as truth. Which is absolutely not truth. It's a corrupted truth. So yeah, that's also what I wanted to uh mention real quick here. I am thankful that that first fucking video I did, even though it was fucking awesome, uh, that this phone couldn't handle it. And I am, of course, assuming that this phone is going to handle this one and save it. But just like uh, the Mayan Jenny was was showing with his uh, showing uh, that guy daylight. And in his talk about spontaneity, about being spontaneous, and how you got to live in the moment, as in you draw inspiration from the moment. So reflecting back on that, I'm thankful that I'm able to talk about different things here and talk in the moment, from the moment, about certain things. Because certain things are going to come up now that didn't come up in the last one. So that's beautiful. That's, that's how it should be. Uh spontaneous inspiration right that's that's what's going to bring us through this fucking bullshit that we're in that we're caught in that's what's going to bring us out of it artistic flow and sp spontaneous inspiration bam tm that shit that's what it's all about F um, of course you know i'm just fucking playing around for copywriting i mean if you don't realize that we're all the fucking same being here, there's no such thing as copyright and shit. Come on now. Stop, stop being fucking petty, motherfuckers. Start realizing what it's really all about. What's really important to you, motherfuckers? Copyright and shit? Trademark and shit? Or getting the message out there? Getting people to wake up to what is inside of them. To inspire people. If you think the only way you can inspire someone is by copywriting and trademarking shit, you're a fucking fool when you're caught in the trap. Not even a fool in a good way, because there's a fool where, you know, you're always in a childlike mind state, as in everything's fresh and new. That part of being the fool is a part of the process. So yeah, we 18 minutes in now, and we're just now getting into uh, the Mayan Jin. Thank you for that video on procrastination. And like you, I also was someone that procrastinated in school, and uh, okay, I'll, I'll go into deeper in, into this in later videos because this is some deep shit here. And I, I'm glad you labeled this part one. I hope you go deeper into it in a part two and a part whatever. Because this is really important shit here. Because we're, we're touching on uh, the tip of the, the tip of the spear here. The tip of the iceberg. About uh, redefining, reprogramming, and uh, relearning what this word really means. Because it's not, that word is bullshit, obviously, first of all. First of all, because, uh. If you're going to have a pro, you're going to have a con. You're going to have a, a D, a descending to your pro. So what is decrastination? What is what is just crastination? Obviously, that word is bullshit. From the get-go. And then, and then having uh, negative connotations onto it. That's obviously a part of the program, motherfuckers. Do you see how this shit works? They don't want you to think for yourself, motherfuckers. They don't want you to quote-unquote procrastinate, which is ultimately contemplate. You, they don't want you to have time for yourself. They want you to be a cog in the wheel and constantly fucking in your monkey mind and squirrel in your brain on that fucking loop program, on that loop-de-loop, -loop, on that merry-go-round of fucking bullshit. That's what they want. Because then you don't have time to procrastinate 
really is contemplate, divine contemplation about why you are where you are. And then also some some key things here with that video of my and Jen's and procrastination was how basically people are stressed the fuck out that who quote unquote procrastinate they are stressed out and, and that's everyone right everyone caught up in this fucking bullshit circus it, it's stressed out and I'll, I'll go back to the Mayan Jin in the video here. I want to leap forward. I want to. Uh, <laughs> I want to jump frog here to uh, the stress and how uh, most people are so stressed out that they don't realize that they're stressed out. Most people have become comfortable in their stress, and I understand why this is. I understand that you have so much on your plate. That you don't have time for yourself. Uh, there, most people are fucking like that. And to be truthful. Uh, the system that we're in. Praises that. Oh man you're fucking. You're just, you're just going in. And you're just going and going and going. Oh yeah man you're fucking digging in. Okay yeah there is that. And there is doing that. But then there's also doing that to the point where you lose yourself, right? You have to you have to realize where the balance at is, where the homeostasis is. Otherwise, you're gonna you're gonna realize that you're just going and going and going, and you're not doing anything that you really want to do. You're doing things for other people, and basically you're doing things for a certain agenda. You've been caught, son. You've been caught in the fucking spider's web. And you don't even realize it. You're just going around and around. So yeah, as you wake up, as you start to regain more of your cognitive abilities, you will realize that the people around you, if you, if you so choose to be around people of these quote unquote civilized world socialized construct you'll realize very quickly that the people that don't give themselves time to contemplate and to chill the fuck out they will throw that at you they will they will throw throw at you that you are being selfish for giving yourself time to heal that is that is selfish and egotistical and and narcissistic what are you doing you're, you're just thinking about you. And I'm not saying that some people aren't true narcissists and aren't truly just in their own little bubble to where they shit on other people. There's a, there's a big difference here between people that shit on other people and are just focused on them and then the people that realize like, oh shit, I need to fucking heal. I need to go within, take two steps back and fucking heal and deal realize what's going on in my life so that I can see it for what it is and heal it now the people that do that and I'm one of these people that have done that and then and then others that that perceive this on the outside and, and yes this is going to be family members and, and the construct that we're in the more healing that we do, the more that we do for ourselves, the more bullshit is going to be flung at us to knock us out of that. So when I've been in these deep modes of healing and in hermit mode, and in contemplation mode and healing, that's when I really have this thrown at me. Uh, whenever I'm around people or just go out and, and certain people come up to me and it's not even that you know I'm the type of person that can go out to wherever and a certain energy will find me this has been my life experience so far but I don't take it personally it happens and I don't freak out 
And this is why I have survived these moments, is because even though I'm in my most vulnerable state of contemplation and meditation, I am dissolving my perception of my physical self, and not just physical, but what I think I am on all bodies, mental, physical, emotional, spiritual, all of those things are dissolving, and that's when you become the most vulnerable. In those moments, and I made sure that I was out away from people, out of the electromagnetic construct, and even though I did that, a certain energy always found me. I'm not going to go into this because I've, I've already kind of talked about that somewhat. And yeah, it's, it is what it is. But basically, I didn't freak out. I realized what was happening. I, I realized, okay, this is... This is the thing here. You have to realize the essence behind these physical manifestations that are happening in your life. Realize the energy behind it. And then you can navigate it easily. Fucking easily you can navigate it. You just got to realize what is the true causations and what is the essence of what you are perceiving. And once you do that, blam, it's easy. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> real quick here. With the procrastination, essentially what it comes down to is inspiration, contemplation and inspiration. You wait till the last minute until you finally, you know, whatever it takes for a certain individual, you finally get that inspiration. We're like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go all in. I'm going to fucking get into this shit. And you just fucking do it. And for people like me, certain individuals that wait till the last moment, but really it's just waiting until the muse sounds off and the inspiration strikes. And once that happens... Blam, it just flows. That's what it's all about, the flow state. You procrastinate until you get into that flow state. And that's what it's all about. That's what procrastination really is. It's just a relaxation. A contemplation until you find your inspiration. That's, that's it. Blam. Blam. That's it. Alright, so yeah, this is probably pretty long. And, and uh, usually people have short attention spans and, and, and don't last till the end of the videos. But whatever, it is what it is. Uh, I will probably do some tarot. It will be t uh, tonight, I guess, because I'm doing this ahead of time I'm recording this so uh, yeah whenever you see this tomorrow afternoon so it will be tonight that I'm gonna do uh, hopefully potentially if everything goes according to plan it's not even a plan it's just you know a flow I plan the flow so we'll just see what happens and uh, what we come to know together So yeah, I was gifted two de two tarot decks, and shout out to I Am Frog in a Box. Check out that channel, Bobby. Thank you for your gifts; they were magnificent. The honey was uh, probably one of the top. I would say top top two, just because I can't think of the top one right now. <laughs> top two honeys I've ever had. That honey was is magnificent. Thank you. For all those gifts that you that you sent, 
and uh, I'm also really thrilled to see Skyhopper uh, diving into certain avenues and channels that I've been diving into, and it's really awesome just to see your energy, to feel your essence and things. You are, uh, you are a magnificent person and being. And also, Skyhopper, I did a video about, uh, whenever you, you had your grandson on. I did a quick little video, and I may just put that up and put it on private just to send it to you. But basically, you know, it was just pure emotion and, it's, and just just feeling, you know, because I felt the message that came through your, your grandson, and it was so pure, so amazing. So, once again, thank you for that. Everyone go check out Skyhopper as well. Skyhopper 007. So yeah. That's about it right now. Of course, shout out to Zen. Of course, shout out to uh, Cortese. Shout out to everyone. Shout out to the real niggas. Out here feeling... And getting out of their head. Shout out to the procrastinators. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the contemplators. Shout out to the people allowing themselves to be inspired. Shout out to the people feeling the flow and letting it go. Deep love, y'all. Keep it flowing.